Welcome, I'm Ben Lambert and I'll be your instructor for this learning path. This learning path is designed to help you prepare for the Azure 70-534 certification exam. The 70-534 exam is difficult by design. It's intended to make sure that you can architect solutions that are both purely Azure based as well as hybrid solutions which mix Azure and on-premises solutions. So because there's so many services to accomplish the different tasks, there's really a lot to learn. Because of the breadth of knowledge required to pass the exam, it's going to require an investment on your part, and that investment comes in the form of time and effort. Unless you're memorizing the actual exam's answer key, then there's no single source that's going to help you pass the exam, because everyone starts at a different level of experience. This learning path assumes that you already have some level of experience with Azure. Now, the intent of this learning path is not to take you from newbie to ninja. That would take hours and hours of courses, as well as hands-on training. So you may be wondering, if this learning path isn't going to bring you from newbie to ninja, then what's the point? I have three goals for you for this learning path. The first is to help you boost your score by a bit, and I'll do that by helping you focus on some of the exam's core objectives. The second goal is to point you towards sources for additional information that will help you prepare for the exam. And the third is to help you determine when you're actually ready to take the exam. And this is the most difficult of the three goals, but I think it is possible. To help with the first goal, there's a course for each domain objective that will help fill in any knowledge gaps that you might have. To help with the second goal, the last course in the learning path will cover some additional resources that will help you towards passing the exam. And then to help with the third goal, there's a quiz at the end of the learning path that will help you determine if you might be ready to take the exam. In fact, it's probably worth starting out with the quiz. Now, if you get a score of say over 90%, then you may be ready to schedule the exam right now. However, if you score lower than that, then you should consider reviewing any topics where you might need improvement. All right, if you're preparing for the exam and you're willing to invest the effort required to pass, then let's get started by clicking on the first course. 